I think uh, you know we've enjoyed our, our run at the at the current space, but um, we are excited about the opportunities here. As I mentioned earlier, we we now will have the opportunity and actually the responsibility to be producing our own distilled spirits. Um, we're going to be primarily focusing on gin, uh, which we're really excited about. So that's going to be really fun. We're going to be able to sell that to the public and use it in our own cocktail program, which we're thrilled about. Um, we're all very enthusiastic about our spirits and our cocktails and so to be able to use something that we produce ourselves here on site is really exciting for us. I think it's going to be a, a really cool kind of evolutionary step for our business and the business model. We certainly have staples that stay on the menu all the time regardless of season or any other factor. Um, we do live in California where the bounty is great and we have the opportunity to serve certain things year-round that I'm sure other people would have to ship produce in or do different things. So our staples stay, but, but there are tweaks to them and you made every month and that will continue to be the case. And it's bigger. Our capacity is significantly higher at this um, location because we do have the upstairs with the Creekside patio as well as the downstairs bar and a, 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 like a third dining area downstairs as well that we kind of call the den or the library. It's where our distillery room is. And so the fact that we're gonna be able to see more people that I think it's a fairly unique space um, in town. I remember this space when it was Garoppolo, when it was Fish Daddy. Um, I've read all the amazing stories about when it was Rhythm Cafe for a couple decades. And we're super excited to be able to kind of piggyback on some of the really neat history that's happened here.